morning everyone this morning I wanted to show you how much feed we go through this time of year which is just a fraction of what we normally go through typically this time of year we use like a one-third less feed than we do in the summer when we have a lot of meat birds and um, additional animals like turkeys and guineas and ducks but we just had our our feed delivered um, in the last couple of days so I want to show you before it dwindles how much we really go through when I say we go through tons we literally go through tons of feed monthly but first I'm going to give you an update on the baby quail so come on in here's our babies we moved them out with the parents um, we were kind of tired of them being in the house I'm not big on animals being in the house, and neither is my husband. They stink and they're messy, and they're doing really well out here with their heat lamp and all. They're growing good. Here's the parents. We're getting a whole lot of eggs right now. They're laying really, really well. So this is what I just collected this morning. Aren't they cute? I wanted to let you guys hear what it sounds like. For a, a male quail to crow. So I'm going to wait a minute so you can hear that. Bobby, just calm down. Else they're not going to be relaxed enough to crow. Oh, there goes one. Did you hear that? There he is. The big guy right there with his big crow. Two more. You see what it looks like when he does that? Just like a just like a chicken. Just like a male chicken, how they raise their head and And they're busy making babies over here. So yeah, they were molting for several months. I'm glad they're back to laying and doing what they should be doing. They didn't even crow while they were molting. But anyway, I'm going to take you up. We're going to go see. I'm going to show you our feed room. It's been relatively cold here the last couple days. Um... Southern Maryland got a lot of snow. We didn't even get one snowflake. I was really disappointed. Because we were supposed to get a couple inches, but somehow it completely missed us. But I just heard from my mother-in-law that we're supposed to get some snow tonight. So I got my fingers crossed. You know, it's, if I have to put up with the cold, I like having some snow once in a while. But the feed room's up here. I got some um, non-GMO corn uh, for the goats and for the chickens. This, this is just a nice treat for them. But, you know, we do all non-GMO here at Faithful Friends. We go up to Lebanon now um, to purchase the feed, but they actually delivered for us this week. And this is what we got. This one's 2,020 pounds. This feed right here is my layer feed. It should last us about one month. So this is how much we're going through, even if they're not laying right now. Um, this time of year, we usually get about five dozen eggs. In the summer, we get anywhere from 10 to 12 dozen a day. So, you know, I'm not making any money on my egg layers right now because we spent $1,700 in feed and we're hoping it gets us through two months. Another layer that should hopefully that will get us through a second one. We got our hog grower. We got a ton of hog grower. That's our hog grower from last month. So we're actually going through about half a ton a month. So not quite as much as the chickens. But since we're out here, we'll go ahead and show you um all the animals because I know y'all have seen the animals up by the fence. So, 
Let's go ahead and go up there. And say hi to Bailey and Barney and all of the goats and the baby goats. Look, they're waiting at the fence already. And I haven't even fired up the tractor. But they know it's breakfast time. Hey, hey chick chicks! Look at all those goats. The goats love it here. As you can see, they they like it so much they have lots of babies. But look at all this land they have to graze. And then we hope to fence that in real soon across the street. This year though, we're gonna fence in the other hill over there for the pigs. We have to do that real soon. Here comes the pigs. Is everyone saying good morning? Where's my breakfast? Hey Barnaby! How you doing boy? Hey Barney! There's my pretty Bailey girl. Hey Bailey! And we got a new pig this week. Because um, the other one had a hernia. We had to uh, get him in early. And so we got a new pig right here. He's a red pig. He's a Duroc. He's 100% Duroc. These are our Duroc Berkshire's cough right here with the spots. Yeah, so they really enjoy their life running around and you can see down here how much the pigs have been rooting. So that's really good for the soil even though it's killing our grass right now. It'll help the overall quality of the soil this coming spring. Yeah, they're hungry. Everyone over here except that we got some of the ducks. Not all the ducks are over here, but where's the geese? Oh yeah. Hey piggy piggies! So I guess we better feed them before they starve to death. You see how skinny they are? Hey Barney! Hey Bailey! My pretty Pyrenees! Alright. So we're all see we'll see y'all later. You wanna see you wanna close it, Bobby? What do you mean? Tell them to subscribe. Subscribe. And like this. The oh yeah, Bobby's got his real duck. The real duck king's his channel. Why He's got some fun me? content too. But we're all we we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching, and God bless.